Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Ubuntu Touch OS 16.4 for our Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is Linux-based Ubuntu Touch OS 16.4 on our device and as you can see, it's the app draw kind of. And if you long uh, stretch your thumb over here, long swipe will get you all the apps. You also have the app store, open store, and first you have to update it to use it, and then you can use and install apps. Let's uh, go back for uh, uh, for now. Going back to me is just clearing the app, which will take you to the home screen as for now. Let's move to settings and see what's in here. So it will load for a quick second of time, then. Uh, going to about it says Ubuntu SMG 930F which is S7 and yeah you can see your IME oh sorry my IME is uh, so I don't know. It's your storage and all that stuff is also here you are setting stuff then you have Wi-Fi mobile data which is also easy and I will show you a thing that is e so easily accessible uh, from our window uh, from our quick settings and just the Bluetooth settings, uh, VP and NFC, just the background we can change wallpapers, so it's also nice. A nice amount of wallpapers are there. In sound, you can set ringtones and notification tones, keyboard sound if you want. And let's go back. We have language and text accounts, notifications, gestures. In gestures, we have tap to wake. Let's see if that works. Double tap in your screen to wake device. And it does work. So that's really nice. It's just a time pass password which I have set. So yeah. I <laughs> don't okay. And then we have battery. As you can see, this gives a nice graph type uh, thing here. Then display brightness, lock and idle, and some other uh, stuff also here to release battery thing. But yeah, it's just same in the settings here. Then a little bit time, and what is this? Uh, I don't know. So, I don't know what it is. This so yeah, you guys can check that out. And you have phone. You have for calling phone settings up here, and yeah, you can also use a mouse and touchpad. Uh, I can also use a keyboard with this. And you have time and date. Oh, sorry. You have brightness and display, and we have only just uh, normal stuff. And security privacy. We have fingerprint ID unlocking. I don't know if fingerprint ID works or not. Let's add and check. So let me just quickly add my fingerprint. Oh, it's getting added. It's really, really slow. And we'll show you the percentage of how much has been added. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought it will just minimize like in Android, but no, it did not. Quite a hassle, but works fine uh, ok button is not working so we'll just close uh, fingerprint doesn't seem to work while I have set it up let's see what is the issue or if it has not been set up I don't know why I'm focusing on fingerprint it says finger one but it doesn't even unlock the device okay so I don't know how to use it I'm really sorry guys this is really embarrassing but yeah I don't know locking and unlocking here is also there's nothing about fingerprint okay here I have to set fingerprint okay nice so I've set it to fingerprint now let's see if it works fine Oh yes it does. I'm really sorry guys. Don't just be pissed at me. I have not used this OS so I don't know much about it. But yeah these are the options. You also have updates but I don't recommend updating via OTA. Like I don't know if it will break your device or it will just go into a loop. So you have to reinstall everything again. And yeah that is it. You can also reset your settings from here. Reset launcher and reset uh, everything. It is and reset all options. Now going back, uh, is this is the only way which I have find, found out like the hardware keys doesn't work, the back and the uh, recent apps key, but this key works, you can just double press it 
uh, single press it to bring the app drawer here so yeah i don't know why is this functional and also we get the long press to power menu if you press the power button this is the power menu we get so yeah these are the stuff that is working and basic your wi-fi uh, sim cards and everything is working i don't have a spare sim card i'll show you a nice uh, thing about this the quick settings uh, whenever you click on any of that icon and just press it it will open that setting yeah. only so this is nice the network and if you want to go to rotation so this is rotation and from swiping here it will only open the notification which is the left side panel the left side so yeah that is the only thing i found like really nice this ui these are the apps this is the camera app very basic app and yeah these are the options in which it's not properly spelled to i don't know where the settings are this is the photo role this is the photo i've picked so yeah i don't find anything in here like no settings at all i don't know how to or maybe i don't know how uh, to just go but yeah i'll just close the camera app and there are a lot of apps here it's the gallery and this is what is this i don't know I don't even know what is this i haven't even opened the app so oh, this is something like bookmark and stuff this is i think this this may be contacts looks like that yeah these are contacts so yeah these are certain apps and click here it will just open we also have a weather app and we also have a terminal so you can play with the device just a bit can also set up whether you guys can check it out after you install so that was it for the ubuntu touch os so this was just an overview and if you want to just try just for fun if your s7 is spare then yeah you can just try it on and just flex that you have a linux based system now but the installation it is very 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 easy just flash the uh, zip through twrp and flash the one uh, which will not replace the TLRP with the UB ports. I will leave the link below in the description for that. Now, first of all, you have to reboot into recovery and flash this. So, let's reboot into recovery and make it there. So, guys, boot into recovery mode using the power, uh, the volume up, the power button, and the home button. Under the recovery mode, you have to first go to wipe if you are on any other ROM. As you can see, you have to just choose these options swipe to wipe. You need to install. Uh, you will get this zip uh, hero lte uh, 2022 10 october so you just have to flash this zip and just wait uh, for it to install it is to just be quick so guys i accidentally clicked reboot without starting the camera so it's just, it just finished and you have to just click reboot system and then it will uh, reboot into ubuntu i will show you the ubuntu logo um this will appear in, in a small set type of screen i guess i don't know uh, i don't know if there is a setup or something but yeah the screen will show up and it will boot into ubuntu touch os very soon so yeah as you can see uh yes this is the setup small setup uh, with the language i hope you can read it but i hope you do uh, i guess you cannot read that but it, because of that brightness but yeah you have all these languages available so yep you just have to select the language and set up it and you can just you know tweak around and play with it so that is it the ubuntu touch 16.4 for our galaxy s7 and s7 edge so i hope you guys like the video if you did press the like button and if not press the dislike button and leave a feedback down below in the comment section also if you want you can subscribe to my channel pressing the right, uh, red button the subscribe button it will give you uh, a good idea about my channel and i make a lot of custom drawn videos so yeah if you want to uh, just make sure i make more videos about the galaxy s7 then you can also subscribe for more so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and that is it bye bye hope to see you guys in another video